And right now, and there's a new law addressing inequities within the health care system, and it's all thanks to a local mental health expert and senator. An associate professor at USF helped design a bill working to improve access to health care for minorities. Dan tells us the impact of this new law in this week's For the Culture. Hey, good morning, everybody. So USF's Dr. Kyan Connor and State Senator Daryl Roussan, they say they know what it's like to be mistreated by health professionals because of the color of their skin. So together, they've created legislation to combat this problem. Unfortunately, I think, due to the murder of George Floyd and the protests for racial justice, one of the things that did come out of that was more conversation about the issues of disparities and not just in health. For Dr. Kyan Connor, it didn't take Floyd's death to start talking about or researching mistreatment toward African Americans. Most of my research largely focuses on understanding health disparities, why they exist and why they're getting worse. For decades, Dr. Connor has worked in low-income African American areas, witnessing disparities in how mental health is diagnosed and treated. You know, mental illness has always been sort of a taboo issue in the black community uh, where we think we don't have time to be depressed or we try to struggle through it and then we end up in crisis and in the emergency room for things that we could have been, you know, had successful treatment in an outpatient setting. Her expertise, the reason why Senator Daryl Roussan called her to help draft a health disparity bill that Governor Ron DeSantis just signed into law. I believe it was time to highlight the issue, the issues going on in our community that brought it to light made it very much uh, something that I believed could pass. The legislation gives $4.4 million to the Office of Minority Health and Health Equity. With the help of county liaisons, they will improve relating local issues to the national level. They'll also collect and report data from all counties to help better community outreach efforts and a lot more. Health should be something that is a right. It's not something I think that we should have to earn or that we have to have enough money to be able to get good access to care or that because of the color of our skin, we should be fearful about getting quality care. Absolutely. Senator Roussan has been advocating for health equity for years. He actually says he's going to continue working with Dr. Connor moving forward to continue this fight.